Hey everyone, happy Friday and welcome back to our channel. We're back with another five weekly favorites, so let's get started. First up is yet another Trader Joe's find. This is the Trader Joe's handful of happy trekking. So it's trail mix in individual packs like this. And in this one is almonds, cashews, pistachios, chocolate, cranberries, and cherries. We really like it and we found that it was one of the kind of healthier ones, um, even though there's chocolate and the dried fruit in there to really give it like a lot of sweetness. Yeah. And um, But yeah. there's, you kind of get a lot in each individual yeah. pack. Yeah, it's not like those 100 calorie pack nuts. Like there's a good amount in here and I feel like, let's see how much, six grams of protein, which isn't bad, but there's a lot of fiber too. So it fills you up, a lot of fat, good healthy fats. Um, yeah, we're big fans. We think it's a really good, nice snack to have around. Yeah, for sure. Next up is a book. We rarely share book favorites. Yeah, we like. should though. We should start. I know. This is Pretty Iconic by Sally Hughes, a personal look at the beauty products that changed the world. And we bought this kind of as a coffee table book. We It's obviously huge. We haven't read the whole thing, but it's such a cool book and it would be amazing for like other makeup lovers mm -hmm. and beauty lovers in your life. So basically it shows like, um, let me get like, okay, so we both have this. Um, on the right side is a picture of the product and then on the right side it's just a one page about like how the product was thought up, how it came to be, and it, these are all like iconic beauty products. So this is the GHG Styler, which we both have and love. love. Mine has lasted eight years, I'll just point that yeah, out. Yeah, the original, I will say. Mm -hmm. And then let's find like another good one. Max Stro oh, yeah. cream. And the pictures are really cool. Yeah, really they're, well done. they're kind of retro. They're like super artistic and um benefit Benetint, Nivea cream. Oh, Maybelline Great Lash is a great one. I love like, I don't know, yeah, I love these like pops of color in here. Mm -hmm. And I like that it's just one page about each. Cause like, I mean, how much can you really say about one beauty mm -hmm. product, you know? But it's huge. Yeah, and that's so, a genius idea for a book. Yeah. Who is that? Sally Hughes, she really, it says she's created a universe filled with galaxies of beauty secrets. Charlotte Tilbury said that. So I'm not sure if she is a makeup artist herself, I'm guessing. But there's over 200 iconic products in here, which is just awesome. I just mm -hmm. love this idea. The book itself is really beautiful and it would make an amazing gift. So it's such a good find. Yeah, awesome. Okay, next up is a favorite that we talked about last summer. I think it was in our Summer Essentials video. Mm -hmm. um, but this is the Jorgen's Natural Glow Wet Skin Moisturizer. Um, I, I use mine. fair to medium skin tones. Britta likes the medium to tan. I, I do. feel like this is just a little more natural, but obviously it doesn't give you as deep of color. This one's pretty deep if you build it up. Mm -hmm. I only have it on like one layer right now, but. Yeah, so basically how this works is you get out of the shower, and or you can do it in the shower, but um, I'm not sure if this stains anything, so I always do it out of the shower. I don't think it does. Um, but when you, as soon as you get out and you're still wet, like before you towel off, you put this all over your body, and then you pat dry with a towel, and the color just like develops gradually, so it's a gradual tanner, but you put it on wet skin. And we thought this was, we are like, that can't work. Like, yeah. There's no way last summer we talked about this. And it ended up being just like a beautiful gradual tanner. Mm -hmm. I think the water somehow just makes it blend so much easier. I think so too. But I also want to point out that I do pat dry a little bit. Like, I mean, you can still see droplets on my skin, but I don't want to be soaking wet because then it is like this itself is pretty watery, I would say. It's pretty thin. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So then when you're like putting it on top of like a soaking wet body, it gets like super slippery. And so I don't know. I pat down a little bit, but I'm, I still have water on my skin for sure. I just think that um, you just need some water to activate the product. Mm -hmm. um, and this summer, like we'll probably gradual tan or not, we'll self tan, self -tan. once mm -hmm. in a while. But like we've been using this every day mostly. I, I kind of have, I've lapsed, so I'm a yeah. little pale right now. But it just is such a beautiful color and it works so well and it's like $7? Maybe it's like $8. I think it's 8 or 9 8, eight or but 9 it's still pretty good. And it lasts a really long time. It, it's only 7.5 fluid ounces, but it really does last a while. and. We're both on our second bottle. Oh, I don't even, I mean, this is the third. first one I purchased this like spring season, mm -hmm. but I feel like last summer I've used at least two bottles. Yes. It's a great product. Yeah. It's awesome. Okay, two products left. First up is the Nooni. I think that's the brand, yeah. Nooni Water Blending Lip Mask, and I love the Laneige Lip Mask. 
I still think that's my favorite, but I wanted something that was a little bit more inexpensive. And this was $15 at Ulta, which isn't, I think it's like middle of the road. It's not drugstore mm -hmm. pricing, but it's not the Laneige lip mask, which I think is like $30. It's $20. $20? Mm -hmm. Okay, so they're pretty similar. Yeah. I don't know why I thought it was more expensive. But I, maybe this one you get more ounces, I'm not sure. But I wanted to try it. I heard a few people talking about it. And you get a lot of product in here. How much specifically? Uh, I can't tell. Oh, 12 grams? 12 grams of product. I feel like that's a lot. And it has apple water in it and sea buckthorn oil, which is supposed to be really moisturizing. And I really, really like this. I think that it performs as well as the Laneige lip mask. My only complaint would be the scent. To me, it just smells a little, I don't think it's artificial, but it smells artificial, like smell it. Mm -hmm. I don't know, I just don't like the scent. I can't even really describe what it smells like, to be honest, but it's not my favorite. Um, so I'd almost rather be unscented because it, the product itself works really well, but my lips were getting so chapped after I ran out of my Laneige lip mask. And so then I knew I just had to purchase another one. And since I've been using this, my lips have been way more moisturized, which is awesome. So it's good if you wanna spend a little bit less. And then the lipstick I'm wearing now is the Milani Matte Flirty Lipstick. It's the shade 71. And I forgot how much I love the Milani Matte Lipsticks. I used to wear the Matte Naked shade all the time. Like I went through a, a full tube of that lipstick a few years ago. And then I just forgot that I had it and like forgot about these. And I found this shade at Target now that they have Milani mm -hmm. at Target. And it's so beautiful. Obviously it looks really dark in the tube. But as you can see on my lips, it's just like a true rich berry shade. Which I think is really pretty for spring. They're super, super comfortable, pretty long wearing, and I don't know, I just really love these for $5. I think it's like the best drugstore lipstick mm -hmm. for me. I love me that. Too. I, I think found. it's better than the Maybelline. Maybelline mattes, but I do like the Maybelline like creamy form. Yeah, I still like the Maybelline mattes, but this is better, and it's cheaper, I think. I don't know. I mean, it depends where you're buying it from, but $5, and they have the Milani lipsticks on the Shop Hush app, which is free shipping, so that's always a good option, too. They're $5 on there as well. Thank you guys for watching this weekly favorites and we'll see you next week for more weekly favorites.